morning. I'm Jeff from the Overwatch team. Very excited to be here with an awesome developer update because we are introducing the 24th hero to Overwatch today. So we're here to talk about Arissa. Arissa is a brand new character. A lot of you probably haven't heard of her before, but she has a really cool backstory. So we want to talk a little bit about that and introduce you to how Arissa came to be. So I'm going to back way up to the Omnic Crisis, which as many of you know, was this terrible world war that happened where robots sort of took over the world, uh, humans fought back, Overwatch was a big part of that. Uh, we eventually struck peace with the Omnics, but during that Omnic crisis, there were many different Omnic units used in the battle. So, as you know, Bastion, as an example, was one of those units that was used in the battle. Well, there was another unit called the OR-14, which was specifically a unit designed to fight against the humans and be part of the Omnic crisis. Well, fast forward many years later, after the Omni crisis, peace has been struck. We're in the city of Nimbani, where humans and Omnics get along great. It's actually one of the most technologically advanced and peaceful cities on the planet. Uh, but they start to they start to run into some strife from a local villain who you might have heard of before. Uh, his name is Doomfist. And in order to start to guard against Doomfist's attack and protect the city against any other dangers that, that might come about, the citizens of Nimbani developed a more advanced version of the old OR-14 unit, which they not surprisingly called the OR-15. So it was one version higher. Well, the OR-15s initially were okay and suited for battle, but they eventually lost horrifically against Doomfist, specifically in a battle that took place in the Nimbani airport. And most of the citizens of Nimbani just gave up on the OR-15s. You know, they failed miserably. They're laying in pieces scattered throughout the airport terminal. This is no good. You know, we give up on these things. Well, there was a young girl who didn't give up on her name was Ethi. Um, she was an extremely smart girl, excellent at science, robotics, mathematics, programming. She still had hope. She still believed in what these OR-15 units were supposed to do for her city. So she sort of, as a, as a scrappy young girl, took the pieces back to a workshop on this unit and created the evolution to what the OR-14 and 15s were and named it Marissa. She made a single heroic unit that wasn't supposed to be part of a huge battalion, but was supposed to be a specific individual hero and named it Marissa. So Marissa, in terms of the timeline of Overwatch, is a brand new hero just on the scene. So we have yet to see what Orissa is really going to do. So that's part of what's very exciting. Most of our, our heroes have a big historical background. Um, we've seen them succeed and fail in their past histories where Orissa is new on the scene and it is Ify who has created her, who is really encouraging her to become a new hero of the future. Now, let's talk about mechanically what Arissa does and what she brings to the game and why we designed Arissa the way we did. So let's talk about her abilities first. Uh, first of all, she's a tank. So she will be in the tank role. Her primary weapon is called the Fusion Driver. It's, think of 